In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to group tabs in Chrome on Android so that instead of having one big jumbled mess of tabs, you can have all your tabs nice and neatly organized into groups. And there are actually two different ways that you can create a tab group on in Chrome on Android. The main way is to have two different tabs you want to group already open. So as you can see here, we have this tab and this tab, and we want to put them in a group. If you don't already have the tabs, you can just tap new tabs and create two new tabs, however you like. But once you already have two tabs open, all you need to do is press and hold on one of the tabs. So press down and hold like that, and you'll probably feel your phone vibrate and the tab will shrink a bit like this. And then once it's done that, you'll just need to drag it across and drop it on top of the other tab. It can be a little tricky. Sometimes you try to do it and the tab bounces from side to side. So you sort of have to get it right on top quite steadily. But then once you see it looking like that with the tab on top of the other tab and it's shrunk down like that, you can let go. And now those two tabs are grouped together. So you now have a new tab group and those two tabs are in it. And if you want to add any more of your existing tabs to the tab group, you can go ahead and do that basically the same way. You just press and hold on the tab and drag it across and drop it into the tab group. And now, as you can see, all three of those tabs are in the tab group, but once you've finished adding existing tabs and you now have a tab group, whenever you want to open the tab group, you can tap on it like this. And now you'll see all of the tabs inside it. So if you had a really big group with a lot of tabs in it, you could actually scroll down inside this group. But Timmy only has three, so you can't scroll. They're just all there. But now, Whenever you want to go onto one of the tabs inside the group, you would just come into your normal screen and tap on the tab group to open the tab group and then tap on any tab you want to use. And as you'll see now, once you've tapped on a tab that's inside a tab group, so we're now looking at one of the tabs that's inside the tab group. If you look down here, you'll see icons for all the tabs you have in that group. So if you have a few tabs open and you're constantly switching between them because they're all very similar, they're all related to what you're doing in this group, you can just tap on the icon in this bottom bar down here and it will switch to one of the other tabs in the group. Or if you prefer, you can tap on this up arrow in the bottom left hand corner and it will bring your tab group back up again. So if you prefer to see it in this interface where you see a bit more of a preview of the tab, you can bring it up like this and then just tap on the other tab and you'll be switched across to the other tab. And now that you have your tabs in your tab group, if you want to create another tab inside this group, there's actually quite a few ways you could do it. One way would be to bring up the tab group again by tapping on that arrow. And then you can tap the plus icon up here and that will create a new tab directly inside the group. So it'll just look like a regular new tab. But as you'll see, we've still got this bar down the bottom here. So that means this new tab is now part of the group. And if you tap up here, you'll see we now have four tabs in the group. Or another way you could create a new tab inside this group is if you're on any of the tabs here and you've got this bottom bar across the bottom here, you can actually just tap this plus icon on the bottom bar here. And that will do the same thing. It will create a new tab in just the same way. Or another way to open a new tab in the same group is if you want to open a link that's on a page in the group in a new tab. So if we go over to this tab with Tech Time with Timmy, let's say we want to open this link in a new tab in the group. 
So we still have this tab open, but we have another tab open with that link inside the group. All you would need to do is press and hold down on the link until this menu comes up here, and then tap open in new tab in group. So there's also an option to open in new tab, and that would open the link in a new tab outside the group. But because we're in this group here, you probably want to open it in the group. So we'll tap open in new tab in group. And as you can see, it's opened it here. So you don't have to go across to it immediately if you don't want to, it'll just sit there. But whenever you tap on it, either on the bottom bar or in this group menu here, you'll now have this link open in this tab. And that's all really cool, but as you've probably noticed, we're now opening quite a lot of unnecessary tabs. And if you ever want to close a tab that's inside a tab group, it's basically the same as closing a tab that's not in a tab group. You just flick it away, either left or right, whatever you want, and it will say the tab has been closed. So you just do that and it's closed. Or if you want to move the tab out of the group, so you don't want the tab in the group anymore, but you want to keep it open in the rest of Chrome, just out of the group, all you need to do is press and hold on the tab, just like we did before, and this remove group icon, well, menu option will appear down here. So all you need to do is drag and drop it into the remove group option. So just drag it there and drop it there. And now it's been removed from the group. And when you want to go out of the group so that you can see all of the tabs, not just the tabs in the group, all you need to do is tap on any of the tabs in the group. You basically just need to be on one of the tabs rather than looking at the entire group. And then this normal tab view button that normally shows you all your tabs will stu still do just the same thing. So if we tap on this here, it'll take us back to the main Chrome screen. So as you can see, we have our three tabs that are in the group and we have our other tabs that were not in the group, including this tab that we just removed from the group. So that's really the main way to create and use a tab group in Chrome on Android, but there is another way. If you're on this regular tab here on any website and you want to open this link in a new tab and have both the tabs in a group together, all you need to do is hold down on that link until this menu appears and then tap open in new tab in group. And as you'll see, this bottom bar has appeared and the link we opened is now in a new tab in this group as quickly as that. So this can be really handy whenever you're on a web page in a tab and you just wanna open a few of those links in a new group so that everything's grouped together, you can do that. And it works really just like any other tab group. You can tap on the up arrow here and you can see all of your tabs. We only have two, but here they are. And you can of course add new tabs and do all the same things you would do. And you can get out of it and it will now just be this group with two tabs or however many you opened. But if you want to do it that way, in certain circumstances, that can be really handy. And finally, if you end up with a whole lot of groups, so you have all these different groups, and it's getting hard to tell which is which, you can actually name groups if you want to. All you need to do is tap on the group to bring it up like this. And then here, where it says three tabs, that is actually a name. So you can just tap in here and then delete three tabs and type whatever you want. And then just tap the tick icon and that will be the name of the group. So now if you go back to see all of your tabs, the group name up here will be whatever you choose. So you can have Tech Time with Timmy and Wikipedia or something or 
whatever groups you have can all have names so you know which ones they are. And if you want to close an entire group so you don't have any of those tabs or the group anymore, it's basically the same as closing one tab. So if you're in a group, you need to come back to this main menu here and then just either tap the cross icon there or just swipe it away to left or right and it's gone. And as you can see there, it says two tabs closed or however many tabs you had closed. So now that group and all of the tabs inside it have been closed. But that's all there is to creating tab groups in Chrome on Android. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.